Hello everyone, I'm Blinker Pete and welcome back to another video. Today we are baking cookies. Now what you'll need is brown sugar, caster sugar, your self-raising flour, you'll need to subscribe, you'll need your vanilla, imitation doesn't matter, essence doesn't matter, three eggs. We're gonna make 60 cookies today. If you don't want 60, you can third the ingredients and you need baking chips, you need 300 grams of butter, Just gonna show you it. So it needs to be salted. Well, it doesn't need to be salted, but it has better results with salted butter. You need a spoon, a strong spoon, by the way, a bowl, and then beaters. So, first thing we need to do is we need to melt that butter because we're gonna cream the butters and sugar. Oh, sorry, not melt the butter. Do not melt the butter. We need to soften the butter because I've melted the butter before and it got bad results. I think the cookies spread out in the oven and they just like made one giant like cookie, like the tray was a cookie, and that was not the results that we wanted. <laughs> so peel your butter, if this is how you get your butter. If you don't have block butter, you can use spreadable butter. Just make sure you weigh it out properly, because you will need all 300 grams of butter. And we're going to microwave this. Just make sure you wash your hands, because butter is very greasy. So, we're gonna melt this in the microwave. I'm just going to grab, finish washing my hands, and then we're going to grab the um, microwave. I don't have my tripod, which is why you can see a speaker, uh, and then my clamp, my phone clamp on top of that. Uh, so put the lid on. you got to make sure you got a lid, because it will spatter, like it will, like there's no doubt about it. So you want to do just below half power, I guess, um, for one minute, and that will soften it. So after it's softened, chuck it in the bowl, and then you need to make sure you got all the butter out of the bowl that you microwaved it in. And then you've got softened butter. Now we're gonna add the sugar. So you need to grab your brown sugar, and you need to get your half cup measure, and we're gonna measure out one and a half cups of brown sugar. So get your half cup measure, and do three scoops to get one and a half cups. I use the side of the container to help me get a flat cup because if you do like extra, like if you're generous with the sugar, then it's a bit over the top. As if having this much sugar is already over the top. But anyway, it's cookies. It's a treat. Okay, now you get your cast sugar and your third cup measure. And we're gonna measure out one full cup of cast sugar. So we would get our third cup measure, but it's a lot easier just to get the one cup measure and pour it in. So we're gonna grab the one cup measure instead and we're just gonna pour it in. I may not have enough, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh wow, okay, that's like exactly one cup, awesome. All right, now we're gonna cream it. So to start off, we're just gonna give it a little bit of a mix, bring it together with the spoon, but this is not gonna be how we combine it finally. This is just to help with the beaters so that it doesn't spray the sugar everywhere just to let the butter stick to some of the sugar. Get a plate for your spoon, so then you can uh, not like put it straight under the table and make a mess. Then you get your beaters ready. Make sure you got the beaters in the actual beater. And start on a low power. My bowl has a rubber bottom, but it's always a good idea to hold, it on, hold on to it because things will get pretty strong. So you can see that it's quite brown at the moment, but at the end, when it's properly creamed, um, it's going to be a light fluffy color like that. So uh, you start on the low power and then you go higher and higher. So now you're going to add your liquid ingredients such as the vanilla. So you want, I think it's three teaspoons. You can be a little bit generous with this because vanilla gives a lot of flavor, but don't be too generous. Like don't do six because six will, you'll literally just, it'll taste like vanilla. Vanilla is pretty strong, but you can do like four if you really want to. So I often use a flat surface to break my eggs and you're gonna put the three eggs in with the vanilla. So you just smash it on, a, well not smash, you just tap it on a flat surface and then a crack will appear, put your thumbs through the crack and then split open sideways and then you won't, you shouldn't get any shell because there's the membrane of the egg just underneath the shell that should hold all the shell on. <laughs> okay, so those are the three eggs done. Now we get our slotted spoon and we're going to break the yolks because then when we mix, oh, we're gonna wash our hands first. So break the yolks 
and then mix them through. I break the yolks because it makes it way easier to mix initially because if you just start mixing then you're probably just going to push the yolks around until they decide to break. <laughs> so pro tip, make sure you break your yolks first. So you're going to mix it all the way through. You don't need to use beaters but if you really want to use it on a low power. <laughs> and mix, 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 mix. Should look very light in colour. Which is crazy because when we first started mixing, before we started beating, it was like dark brown. But because of all the air that we've added by beating it, um, we now have a light fluffy color. All right. So when you think that you've mixed it all through, then we're going to start adding the flour. Now the flour is the hard part because it's literally like you're mixing concrete. So it is going to be four... I think it's four, yeah, four cups of flour. So it's a lot of flour. So get your one cup measure and your self-raising flour. So there's about one kilo of flour that we're gonna add. I'm pretty sure, because it's 250 gram per cup. I think that's how it works. So that's one cup, fold that through. Don't do all of them at the same time because flour is gonna go everywhere and it's gonna be hell to mix. So you wanna make sure it's fully combined per cup and it will probably take a long time to get it all the way mixed through. But yeah, now you get your second cup and put that in and you're going to mix that through. Make sure you do it properly because if you have any pockets of flour when you make your dough you're going to have some cookies missing. It's going to get very sticky as well so when you want to get your spoon out it's going to be a bit tricky. Um, also it will get really hard to mix so make sure you like crack your knuckles and whatnot. And give your hands a good stretch and try to have breaks because it is going to be really hard. Like I'm not saying this because I'm a wimp, but like seriously, it is like mixing concrete and you're going to have to mix it all the way through so you're going to be standing there for a long time. So you can see that it's sort of got a fleshy sort of tearing up sort of look to it, like a, a cloud, I guess, a dark cloud. Um, you're going to do, I think that's the third cup or fourth cup, I don't know but you're gonna do four in total, and then you're gonna mix it through. So it's gonna look, it's gonna get a lot more flowery. All right, make sure you have breaks. I think that was me just having a break. I think this is in two times speed, I can't remember. So yeah, it, it was really hard to mix. So it's gonna turn into sort of one big blob and the flower's gonna sort of like let it pull away from the side of the bowl which is sort of the, uh, the thing that you want because then it's also going to help with making the actual balls of dough for putting in the oven. Now we're going to mix in the baking chips. So you want to get a big bowl. Well, not big, but it's like a bigger than a breakfast bowl. We have two different size breakfast bowls in my house. Uh, one slightly bigger and that's the one that I used. So, you, so this one we had, um, so you want to do three cups of baking chips. So this is normally three packets. I've got white and dark baking chips, two dark and one white. We didn't have three dark. I don't know why that was. I think that's just what we had in the pantry. Um, get that one open, pour that in, and then the last packet. I like to shake it around, I don't know if you guys like to do this, but it just helps randomize what color baking chip you get per bowl, I guess, but you're gonna mix it anyway. All right, so now we're gonna preheat the oven, 160 degrees. So while you're doing this, it'll have time to preheat. So 160 degrees, keep that in mind. Okay, once you've got all your baking chips in that bowl, then we're gonna put them in. So I like to use my hands for this part because we've already got this concrete like mixture. And do a little bit at a time. If you do one big clump, then you're gonna have some balls that have a little bit and some bit that have some balls that have lots. So you can start off by mixing with the spoon, but then um, I changed to using my hands because it was way easier at combining. So make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before doing this for hygiene purposes. All right, so then sort of do like a, I don't know what kind of motion this is. It can't be a washing machine because a washing machine has one turbine. Um, sort of like just, just knead it, we'll knead it in the bowl, but like make sure you get all the baking chips all the way through. It will get a little bit sticky, but you should be fine. So that looks like we've got enough in there. 
Make sure you get all the dough around the edges because if you miss any dough that doesn't get any chips, then it's sort of like, it's gonna be a cookie that's like um, chocolateless. You're no one's eat that cookie. All right. So now we move on to making the balls. So you wanna wash your hands, try and get as much dough off your fingers as possible. Uh, you probably will only need a rinse, but yeah. Okay, so you wanna line quite a few trays with baking paper because 60 divided by 12 is five. So you need about five baking trays, but maybe not five. Yeah, maybe three trays, five lots of paper. So you wanna use two, I use two, two long teaspoons, like the uh, cafe teaspoons. And you want to just do heaped teaspoon sized balls. And these will make uh, palm of your hand sized cookies. And I'm talking like your dad's palm of his hand. Maybe not dad's, maybe yours. But yeah, maybe your palm sized of the hand. But yeah, you can fit 12, um, three on the short side and four on the long side. And you want to repeat this process until you've got 12 like that. Uh, open your oven and be quick so then the heat doesn't escape too quickly. Uh, put on the top shelf and then you can start making your second tray with 12 and time it for 15 minutes per tray. And then once you get your bottom tray in, then you can, like your second tray, put it on the bottom shelf and then you can time that 15 minutes and then just swap them over when they're done. So now you've got 12 cookies and you just keep repeating, swapping trays and you'll eventually get 60 cookies. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss on the next episode. And my fan discord is in the description if you want to come chat with me and do a collab video. So thanks for watching and see you next time.